welcome to my another session in this session i have a talk about the initiation of transcription in pro careers in my last video i have already discussed about the overview of transcription in pro careers and in my last video we know that the rna polymerase enzyme this is the single transcription factor in prokaryotic cell such rna polymerase enzyme which bind to the specific site of the dna and such site is known as the promoter site this promoter site it has the start point from where the transcription start and such point is marked by plus 1 and this promoter site may have two consensus sequence at the region of minus 10 and another consensus sequence present at the region of minus 35 the binding of rna polymerase enzyme causes the melting of dna strand and which forms a bubble like structure known as the transcription bubble the rna strand synthesize out of the two dna strand so the dna strand from where rna synthesis or rna is transcribed such strand is known as the dna strand is known as the template strand the rna strand which is synthesized from the dna and such rna strand is same in sequence with the other dna strand such dna strand is known as the sense strand such sense strand also known as coding strand the complementary strand of the coding strand is known as the template or anti sense strand the rna polymerase which read the template strand in the direction of 3 prime to 5 prime and the synthesis of rna takes place from the 5 prime to 3 prime direction so this is the idea so by the binding of rna polymerase the closed binary complex of dna convert into open binary complex this is the transient changes or transition changes of the close to open and these changes from close to open binary complex this is known as the isomerization which takes place only because of the binding of the rna polymerase enzyme so with this idea we have to proceed so let's proceed how the rna polymerase recognize the promoter region in my last video as i discussed about the rna polymerase has beta beta prime sub unit to alpha sub unit also there and another factor is present known as the sigma factor so the alpha sub unit and the sigma factor both requite the rna core enzyme so how 
actually it repeat the RNA core enzyme. RNA polymerase core enzyme. In my last video, as I discussed that the RNA polymerase also recognize some of the sequences and these sequences may be the upstream element or these sequences may be the extended or these sequences may be the discriminator. So suppose that these sequences, these are the discriminator, these sequences may be the extended and the upstream sequences, this is known as the upstream element. The RNA polymerase has the sigma factor and such sigma factor actually divided into four region the sigma factor region 1 the sigma region 2 the sigma region 3 and the sigma region 4 such sigma factor associated with the other factors like beta or the alpha Suppose that this is the alpha subunit. Such alpha subunit, this is the protein. So it has, it has carboxy terminal domain and the amino terminal domain. So Carboxy terminal domain of alpha subunit is alpha CTD, which linked with the amino terminal domain and which is represented as alpha NTD. Both are linked to each other by the flexible. flexible linker. So, here the sigma region 1 which recognizes the discriminator region. The sigma region 2 which recognizes the minus 10 element the sigma region 3 which recognizes the extended element the sigma region 4 which recognizes the minus 35 element but the sigma region or the sigma factor does not recognize the upstream element this upstream element actually recognized by the alpha subunit. Alpha subunit, it has the carboxy terminal domain which embedded from the RNA polymerase enzyme. But such RNA polymerase enzyme or the sigma factor bind in such a way that all the elements of promoter make feasible for the RNA polymerase. So the carboxy terminal domain which touches the upstream element after the binding of the RNA polymerase enzyme. So melting, where actually melting start? By the binding of RNA polymerase enzyme, the melting actually start at the region of minus 10 element. 
So how actually it occurs? The sigma factor for it has two helices. So one helix which insert into the major groove of minus 35 element and the other helix which present on the top of the groove and which interacts with the backbone of DNA at the region of minus 35 element. And the two helix which interact at the region of the minus 35 element. So, uh, this helix is known as the helix turn, helix turn helix. The reason to the sigma factor reason to which has the alpha helix. This alpha helix contains the essential aromatic amino acid. Such essential aromatic amino acid interacts with the minus 10 element. By the interaction of minus 10 element which causes the breaking of hydrogen bond or the stock of interaction between the nucleotides of template and the non-template strand. That's why the clip out which causes the clip out of two nucleotides. So, take a look. Suppose that this is the strand of DNA. Suppose that this is the closed binary complex. Closed binary complex. That is the binding of RNA polymerase. This is the sigma factor. The sigma factor reason 1, 2, 3 and 4. The sigma factor 2 which actually interacts with the reason of minus 10 element. So by the interaction two nucleotide which cleave out. Suppose that two nucleotides which cleave out. So the interaction from the template strand is break. Suppose that this is the sigma factor. It may be the uh, A11, adenine, thiamine, 7. So these are the other hydrogen bonds. This is the reason of the minus 10 element. So the interaction of reason 2, aromatic amino acid present in the alpha helix of the region 2 of the sigma factor which causes the cleave out of two nucleotides, R9-11 or thiamine 7. So by the breaking of such interaction with the template or the non-template strand, to stabilize the single stranded DNA, other bonds will break and which causes the melting of DNA and which forms the transcription bubble. So, at the start point, 
the RNA polymerase which cover of the base pair about 75 to 80 number of base pair and the, there is no need of energy for the breaking or the melting of the DNA. Such energy actually provided by the conformational changes of DNA and the RNA polymerase enzyme complex. So, such the melting of DNA takes place and which needs some energy not from the dissociation of ATP such enzyme, such energy actually comes from the uh, conformational changes of the DNA and RNA polymerase enzyme complex. So after the binding of RNA polymerase which contracts somehow in this region the RNA polymerase present or the cover of minus about minus 55 to plus 20. So the RNA polymerase which cover of the base nucleotide base from the minus 55 to plus 20. After binding it contracts and cover up about 55 number of base pair. So now the transcription bubble is formed because of the melting of the DNA strand. And now the synthesis or the initiation of transcription start. So how actually the transcription initiate? Initiation means the formation of first phosphodiester bond in between two nucleotide of the RNA. This is known as the initiation process. Such initiation process does not need any type of primer. So suppose that this is the transcription bubble. Such transcription bubble actually actually takes place in between minus 11 to plus 2 region and the transcription bubble open up 12 to 14 number of base pair. So the melting of 12 to 14 number of base pair which forms the transcription bubble. So this is the transcription bubble. How transcription initiate? So this is the open binary duplex of DNA or transcription bubble. These are the this is the template strand. And this is the non-template strand. So now, suppose that this is the plus one. Suppose that there is the first ribonucleotide triphosphate. This is the another ribonucleotide phosphate. Such ribonucleotide triphosphate bonded to each other by phosphodiester bond. And uh, uh, likewise, another nucleotide also joined it at this region by the formation of phosphodiester bond. The direction is 5 prime to 3 prime. So the formation of first phosphodiester bond is known as this is the known as the initiation. So at the during the initiation process the RNA polymerase which forms very small RNA less than 
nine base pair length. So number of small RNA are synthesized before enter into the elongation process. And this is known as the abortive synthesis or initiation. This is known as the abortive synthesis or initiation. So before enter into the elongation phase, during the initiation phase, the RNA polymerase synthesize number of small RNA less than 9 base pair length and such process is known as the abortive synthesis. How actually it occurs? Sorry, uh, what is the motive for the synthesis of small RNA? It is unknown. The reason is unknown till now. And there are the uh, three models actually proposed how the abortive synthesis takes place. Uh, so these so this concept are maybe the transient excursion transient excursion or another is the inch warming and last one is the scrunching so these are the three models which actually proposed for the abortive initiation. So transient excursion, what is the meaning? Suppose that this is the, this is the start point and this is the RNA polymerase enzyme. So before going through the elongation process, such RNA polymerase enzyme which move forward towards the downward direction and again come to the promoter region or the location. So by the forward and the reverse movement of RNA polymerase again and again which synthesize the small RNA less than 9 nucleotide base pair length before abortive of the transcription. So this is the one uh, concept of the formation of the abortive transcription. Another is the inch warming. inch warming. So in this process suppose that this is the DNA having the start point and this is the RNA polymerase enzyme. Such RNA polymerase enzyme is flexible. So the front portion of RNA polymerase move to the forward and again which will back to the original location by the retracting. So the flexible of RNA polymerase the front portion which slightly slide on the uh, DNA strand towards front and again come back to the back side. So which forms the number of small RNA before abortive transcription. So another 
theory is proposed which is known as the scrunching. Suppose that this is the DNA. The DNA becomes a single stranded at the region of the promoter region by the binding of RNA polymerase. So suppose that this is the RNA polymerase. This RNA polymerase pull the single stranded DNA. Suppose that this is the RNA polymerase which pull the single stranded DNA in the enzyme and which causes the synthesis of small RNA. So this is, so these are the three different model actually proposed for the abortive synthesis of RNA. So before going through the elongation process, the RNA polymerase synthesizes number of small RNA, the length about less than 9 base pair. So this is known as the uh, abortive uh, synthesis. So the now the if once the RNA polymerase manages to synthesis of RNA about more than 10 nucleotide base pair length now it leaves the promoter region. Suppose that this is the 5 prime, this is the 3 prime region and this is the start point of the promoter site. Once RNA polymerase enzyme managed to synthesis the RNA about 10 base pair length then it leaves the promoter site and it enter into the elongation process and this is known as the escape this is known as the escape or clear clear of RNA polymerase or clear of the promoter. So, after abortive initiation, when the RNA polymerase managed to synthesis the RNA about 10 base pair length, then it escape or it leave the promoter region. This is known as the clearance of RNA polymerase or clearance of the promoter. So, after the or at the time of escape or clearing of the promoter region, the sigma factor dissociate from the RNA polymerase enzyme. And after the dissociation of sigma factor, this RNA polymerase enzyme again contracts and which cover of the about 40 base pair nucleotide. So how actually RNA polymerase move forward? How the ribonucleotide triphosphate enter into the enzyme. The enzyme has the active site or the active clit. So, different channels actually formed and about five number of channels actually form. Suppose that this is the
this is the part of RNA polymerase enzyme. This is the another portion of another portion of the RNA polymerase enzyme. This is suppose that beta and the beta prime pincer pincer region and there is the five channels so one channel is the ribonucleotide triphosphate optic channel which is not shown here and through this channel the entering of ribonucleotide triphosphate takes place to the active site suppose that this is the active clip or the active site the another is the newly synthesized RNA leaves the RNA polymerase enzyme through a channel known as the RNA exit channel exit channel so suppose that this is the RNA exit channel and three more channels are present for the DNA. So the downstream of the DNA enter into through this channel and such channel is known as the downstream DNA channel through which the downstream part of DNA enter into the active site. Inside the active site, the breaking of hydrogen bond takes place, the melting of DNA strand takes place. So, the non-template strand which exit the or which leave the RNA polymerase enzyme through a channel is known as the non-template channel and the DNA which pass over the enzyme or surface of the enzyme this is the non-template channel. So the template DNA strand which leaves the RNA polymerase enzyme or which leaves the active site or the active clip through a channel, this is the template channel. So this is the template channel. So suppose that this is the DNA strand which enter into the RNA polymerase and inside the inside the enzyme the breaking of the bond takes place so this is the non template strand suppose that this is the template strand so the DNA enter into the enzyme and the breaking of bond takes place and which leave sorry and which leave the enzyme through a channel is known as the template channel. This is the active site and this is the site for the RNA.
a newly synthesized synthesizing RNA which leaves the enzyme through this channel RNA exit channel suppose that this is the enzyme and the sigma factor which present most probably in this portion suppose that this is the sigma factor region 1 region 2 region 3 and the region 4 the beta and the beta prime insert which actually engulf the downstream DNA and clip tight the downstream DNA and hold the DNA. So now it leaves the this complex which leaves the promoter side or the clearance of promoter takes place or escaping of uh, promoter takes place and which moves forward and which enter into the elongation process. This is the uh, detailed uh, initiation process in transcription in prokaryotes. So click on my another video to get the rest of the portion. Thank you.